And then uh, the funniest part, like I don't, a lot of people don't know, did he talk? They was like, nah, we don't want, we don't want him. <laughs> they didn't want you. Nah, they didn't want me. So I was like, as a, as a 12, 13 year old, I was in that elevator probably crying like. Right. A in the glitzy world of entertainment, the allure of fame and fortune calls to many, promising a life of luxury and admiration. But scratch the surface, and a much darker reality lurks beneath, one that few are brave enough to confront. The recent indictment of Sean Diddy Combs has ripped the veil off this shadowy realm, revealing unsettling truths that many dismissed as mere urban legends. Just when we thought we'd seen it all, Chris Brown stepped into the light, sharing a chilling narrative that exposes the grim underbelly of an industry often built on exploitation. Hold tight as we delve into these disturbing revelations that challenge everything we believed about the price of fame and power. Before we unpack the shocking details, it's vital to trace the roots of this darker side of the entertainment industry. Few figures have been as embroiled in controversy as Diddy. Over the years, he's faced a barrage of accusations, ranging from exploiting those around him to troubling claims of violence against women. Recently, the rumors have shifted toward his alleged sexual preferences, adding yet another bizarre twist to the already complicated narrative surrounding him. Now, Chris Brown finds himself tangled in this intricate web of intrigue. Whispers suggest he might have been pulled into Diddy-related scandals, despite being someone typically known for his tumultuous relationships and a reputation that lands him in headlines for all the wrong reasons. However, the reality is that these two artists crossed paths long before they became household names. By the time Brown arrived on the scene, Diddy was already notorious for his raucous parties, rumored to cater to a range of adult activities, both heterosexual and homosexual. It was within this chaotic backdrop that Chris Brown first encountered Diddy. After the release of his highly anticipated album, Breezy, last June, Brown appeared on Drink Champs, not only promoting his new project, but also sharing surprising insights from his early career. One particularly shocking story he recounted involved Diddy himself. Brown revealed that he was once on the verge of signing with Bad Boy Records, but was ultimately turned down by Diddy. Given Brown's massive success over the past decade, it's bewildering to think that anyone, especially Diddy, would pass on such talent. But the backstory takes a darker turn, with rumors suggesting that Diddy harbored inappropriate intentions during that time, which is especially disturbing considering Brown was only 12 years old. During his Drink Champs appearance, Chris reflected, I was like 12 at the time. This was before I got connected with Def Jam. He reminisced about being part of a duo with TJ, the son of his production manager, emphasizing their brotherly bond. When the host jokingly suggested that perhaps their lack of a group name was why Diddy passed on them, another co-host chimed in with a darkly humorous comment, hinting that Diddy might have signed him if he had danced for him implying some deeply unsettling compliance with questionable requests. While this may seem like an isolated incident, the truth is that the music industry is riddled with such unsettling tales. Chris Brown is just one of many artists ensnared in the web of exploitation associated with Diddy. The grim reality deepens when we consider that Chris wasn't the only underage artist to cross paths with the mogul. Usher, another superstar, has his own harrowing experiences. Just a few months ago, both Diddy and Usher were trending on social media, not just for their music, but for a troubling narrative that was beginning to bubble to the surface. Usher's ordeal reportedly began when he was just 10 years old and shared a bed with a nearly 30-year-old Diddy. In a shocking twist, rumors emerged suggesting that Diddy had infected Usher with a sexually transmitted disease early in his career leading to hospitalization. Usher's mother considered suing Diddy, but the matter was settled out of court, leaving the industry's dark underbelly largely unchecked. As unsettling truths about Diddy's alleged actions surface, they hint at a more profound issue within the elite ranks of the music industry. Chris Brown has taken it a step further by calling out Diddy's longtime friend and associate, Jay-Z. Brown claims that Diddy and Jay-Z are, in his words, two sides of the same coin. With Diddy's legal troubles escalating, 
Jay-Z may soon find himself in the crosshairs of scrutiny as well. Chris has also accused Jay-Z of playing a role in derailing his career. He asserts that Jay-Z blackballed him, not just for the infamous 2009 incident involving Rihanna, but also due to personal animosities. Brown alleges that Rihanna was unfaithful to him with Jay-Z, claiming she passed on an STI she contracted from him. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Chris hints at even darker secrets involving Jay-Z and industry giants like Clive Davis, suggesting a collusion to tarnish his reputation. Most remember the infamous 2009 altercation between Chris Brown and Rihanna, where a car argument escalated the night before the Grammys, leading to visible injuries for Rihanna and Brown's subsequent arrest and probation. The narrative has often painted Brown as the aggressor, but now Chris is shedding light on the chaos that unfolded that night. He echoes Rihanna's sentiments, explaining how the confrontation spiraled out of control after she accused him of infidelity. In a moment of rage, after she spat on him, he lost control, leading to the media frenzy that followed. As Chris tries to reshape his narrative, he faces backlash for a mistake he made as a teenager. When Chloe Bailey collaborated with him on a track, immediate criticism prompted him to vent his frustrations, declaring, if y'all still hate me for a mistake I made as a 17-year-old, please kiss my whole entire behind. I'm 33 now, and I'm tired of y'all running with this narrative. In a striking twist, he appears to call out Jay-Z, alluding to the hypocrisy of cancel culture, particularly when artists with similar violent histories don't face the same public backlash. As these revelations unfold, questions about Jay-Z's past relationships raise eyebrows. There are persistent rumors regarding his involvement with young artists like Lil' Kim and Foxy Brown when they were just teenagers. Chris Brown's allegations about Jay-Z's affair with Rihanna, leading to her contracting an STI that she later passed on to him, cast a long shadow over their seemingly perfect public personas. The complexity of these relationships is further illuminated as Chris insists he discovered Rihanna's betrayal on the night of their infamous fight, suggesting this revelation was the breaking point for him. This speculation fuels the idea that Jay-Z and Rihanna conspired to suppress rumors of their affair, fearing the fallout from such revelations. As the dust settles from the unfolding revelations about Diddy, Chris Brown, and the intertwined lives of industry giants, the music world finds itself at a critical juncture. The glimmering facade of fame is now punctured, exposing a narrative woven with threads of exploitation, manipulation, and a deep-seated culture of silence. While the industry has long celebrated its icons, it's becoming increasingly clear that these figures often thrive amidst the shadows, thriving on the very exploitation they perpetuate. The aftermath of these shocking stories begs the question, what happens next? For many, the answer lies in accountability. The recent surge of women and men bravely coming forward with their experiences signals a turning tide. This isn't just about Diddy or Chris Brown, it's about creating a new narrative within the music industry, one where survivors are believed and perpetrators face consequences for their actions. As the Had Me Too movement continues to reverberate through various industries, the entertainment world must reckon with its own shortcomings. Artists, once too fearful to voice their truths, are finding strength in unity. They are banding together, sharing stories that reveal a shared understanding of the toxic undercurrents that have long been brushed aside. This collective voice is powerful. It compels audiences to listen and forces the industry to confront uncomfortable truths. With each revelation, the facade of invincibility that figures like Diddy and Jay-Z have constructed begins to crumble. Fans, once enamored by their artistry, are now faced with the grim reality that the creators they idolized may have feet of clay. The industry's machinery is beginning to shift, as those who once turned a blind eye are now recognizing their complicity in upholding harmful systems. The call for change is louder than ever. Listeners and fans are demanding more transparency and integrity from their idols. This pressure creates an opportunity for a shift in values within the industry. If the entertainment world can move beyond the allure of celebrity culture, 
it may pave the way for a healthier environment for both artists and fans alike. But the journey ahead is fraught with challenges. As the stakes rise, so do the defenses of those who fear losing their status and power. The old guard may fight back, attempting to maintain the status quo, but the narrative is shifting. Artists who are willing to speak their truth can inspire a new generation of creators who prioritize respect, equality, and ethical behavior over blind ambition and profit. This movement also highlights the need for robust systems of support for those who come forward. Organizations must develop resources to assist survivors, ensuring that they have safe spaces to share their stories and receive the help they need. Education and training about consent, healthy relationships, and the exploitation that can occur within creative spaces are essential steps in reshaping the culture of the industry. As we reflect on the complex web of relationships and betrayals that have defined this chapter in music history, it becomes clear that we stand at a crossroads. The revelations surrounding figures like Diddy and Jay-Z are not merely tales of scandal. They represent an opportunity for growth and healing. In the end, the stories that emerge from this reckoning will define the future of the music industry. Will it continue to cling to the myths of invulnerability and power, or will it embrace a new era where transparency, accountability, and respect are the guiding principles? The choice lies within the industry, its artists, and the fans who support them. As the spotlight shifts, the hope is that it illuminates a path toward a more equitable and just entertainment world, free from the shadows that have lingered for far too long. This is a pivotal moment. The narrative of fame is being rewritten, and in doing so, it opens the door to a brighter future, where the music industry can reclaim its heart and soul, built on the foundation of respect, integrity, and authentic artistry. Only time will tell if those in power will seize this opportunity for change, or if they will let the allure of fame continue to cloud their judgment. One thing is certain, the voices that have risen to challenge the status quo are not going away. They will echo throughout the industry, reminding us all of the price of silence and the power of truth. The saga surrounding Sean Diddy Combs is not merely a tale of music. It serves as a cautionary narrative about the hidden costs of fame and the dark realities woven into the fabric of the entertainment industry. The questions loom large. What really happens behind closed doors? As these revelations continue to surface, who will be held accountable for the secrets that have festered for far too long? As we reflect on these unsettling truths, it's clear that the dream of fame should not come at the cost of humanity. The stories of Diddy, Chris Brown, and others remind us of the shadows lurking behind the glitz and glamour. It's time to shine a light on the real issues, fostering a culture where respect and dignity reign supreme. Only then can the industry hope to heal and move forward, free from the chains of its past, 